Ambala Engule was a popular song during the Pentecostal revival that swept across Uganda in the late 1970s as born again Christians bore the brunt of President Idi Amin's persecution. Professor Simeon Kaiwa, a leader in this revival, first encountered the song in 1977. We sat with those people I used to meet in the villages, and uh, they, was, this, they, was sung, they sung in a primitive way, a tune similar to it. The musician Bobby Wine, who released the cover of the song a few days ago, claims that as a child of God, he has the right to pick encouragement from it. It inspired me, especially having been singing it in church. Religious songs inspire the soul, and I think it's okay for as long as um, it is on a noble cause, a cause to make uh, life better for all people. The English version of the song was originally composed as a hymn in 1721 by Isaac Watts, and he named it When the Battle is Over. Over the years, the song has been covered by many artists. When this battle is over, who will the who will it be? According to the copyright law, a song enters the public domain 50 years after the death of a composer. Over the years, Professor Kaiwa and other evangelists have tweaked and modified the Luganda version of the song. I found it being sung by people in Bulemezi. I tried to put it right and uh, put the right words, the words I thought were right to put there. And then we improved it when we began to build churches. Uganda's copyright law is not clear on who owns the copyright on folk songs that are in the public domain. The communities may have uh, a say in, 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 in such songs, a person may, may use that song and uh, he, will, he will have copyright in his or her version. Since the ownership of Tuli Yambala Engule is not clear, the onus is on the pastors who are castigating Bobby Wine for using the song to prove that it belongs to the church. The transformation of that song from English to Uganda is, uh, is what will make it a derivative work. You derive it from the original work. Now, that in itself is copyright protected. So the, the key question that should be answered is, can you prove that you are the author of this song before you can maintain any legal claim or rights to the song? It's our song that we've been singing all the time, but it was not recorded. It was, it was not copyrighted. I can't limit anybody from using it because it doesn't belong to me or to anyone yet. If music is the elixir of life, then freedom songs are the vanguard of change. The civil rights movement in the US used Negro spirituals to advance their cause, just as Bobby Wine is doing in Tuli Yambala Engule. But only time will tell if you bow down to pressure and back off the song. Julia Nantume, NTV. Make us better.